one of the features that gives functional programming a lot of power is the concept of higher order functions. And so let's talk about higher order functions in Scheme. So a higher order function is a function that takes another function as a parameter, returns a function, or does both. And again, that's because in a functional language, functions are first class objects. So we treat them just like any other data type. So in this video, I'll give you some examples of higher order functions and then talk about how you can use them. So let's suppose I have a function that increments a number. So I'll define increment to be a lambda that takes one parameter and adds one to that parameter. So we've seen functions like that before. Now let's talk about higher order functions. So I'm going to define higher order function example one, and it's going to take two parameters, a function and a parameter, and then we're going to apply the function to the parameter. So I can say higher order function example, and then we'll say increment seven. We'll convert symbol to string higher order function, and then we'll check to see if eight is even. So let's run this and see what happens. And then you can see that it does each of these functions. So we have this function that gets applied to this parameter, and that's what's going on here. Now we can have more than one parameter. And again, I'm giving them the names func, param, param, but that's just so that you can know that this is our function, this is our first parameter and our second parameter. I could call this x, y, z, and it would work just as well. And here, I'm going to apply the function to the two parameters. Now, you may ask why we have the same syntax, it appears, here and here. But this is a list of parameters for the lambda, and then this is the body of the lambda function. So even though the syntax is the same, the semantics of what's going on there is different. So let's try to do some examples. We'll add 29 and 19. We'll find the max of two numbers. We'll cons two symbols. And we'll apply a lambda function to two parameters. And let's run this and see what result we get. And again, you can see we get the examples we would expect. So let me change that U. So our first example takes a function with one parameter as one of its parameters. Our second example takes a function that requires two parameters. Now, if I tried to do something like this, I get an arity mismatch because it's expecting there just to be one parameter here. And the same with the second example. If I say increment two, again, an arity mismatch because this function is expecting first a function that takes two parameters and then the two parameters. So here I only have one parameter. So it is something that you have to be aware of. So for our third example, I'm going to write a function that takes a parameter and then it returns a function that takes a parameter and the function is going to add X and Y. So if I just say HOF example three, and then let's pass 10 in, notice that returns a procedure. Well, so if this is a procedure, I should be able to apply it. Let's pass the parameter five there. And now notice I get 15 because this function returns a function that adds 10 to some number. So I can define add 10 to be higher order function example 3, 10. And then I can say add 10 to 24. And then you can see that that returns 34. I don't have to just do this with math. Here I have a function that takes one parameter and it's going to return a function that cons is x with y. So, and I better rename this. So this example, and let's say the list one, two, three. Again, it's a procedure. But if I take this procedure and apply that to zero, then it cons is one, two, three with zero. So I did this backwards. This should be y. And this should be x because again when we pass in this initial procedure this is y and so it, the function cons is its parameter with what the parameter was to high order function example four so now we've swapped that around and it should give us what we would expect and i can cons the symbol a to the beginning i could also do something like define make list to be something cons with the empty list. So if I say make list A, make list one, two, three, 
then what will happen is you'll see that I have an unbound identifier. So let me fix that. And now if I run, you'll see that it puts A in a list. It puts to list one, two, three in a list. Because again, it's going to cons whatever this parameter is with the empty list. So these are some examples of user-defined higher order functions in Scheme. And in our next video, we'll talk about some of the higher order functions that are already built into Scheme.